To ensure that I achieve a beautiful and flawless glowing makeup look, I need to ensure that my skin is also beautiful and glowing to begin with. So I'm going to be using this new Born Face 851 which is a new facial pamper set which includes four different beauty brushes. I absolutely recommend this product to anyone getting ready for Aid. Usually $89.99 but it's going for $44.99 at your local boot so make sure you pop in whether you're buying it for yourself or as a last minute Aid gift for a loved one. I'm gonna use the epilator to begin with and I typically don't really remove a lot of my facial hair except for my upper lip and the sides of my cheeks just because they're the most obvious looking hairs and I just don't really like the look of them underneath makeup or without makeup. So I'm going to start by epilating my upper lip and the sides of my cheeks. I find that when you pull the skin a little bit while you're epilating, it's much less painful and it's much more effective at removing the hair. I found that this epilator truly did remove the tiniest of hairs that I didn't even realize were there so I absolutely can vouch for the fact that this is definitely very effective and very worth getting. So I'm going to take off the epilator head and I'm going to put on the cleansing head. So I'm going to put on my Salima Skincare Cleanser and I'm going all over my skin, deeply cleanse my face which completely gets rid of all the dirt and cleans out my pores. I will be doing a skincare video very very soon. I've actually already filmed it but I'm just waiting to completely finish editing it and that will be up very very soon within the next week. To achieve an even more beautiful natural glow I'm going to be using the Salima Skincare Glow Tonic Toner which is my absolute favourite toner ever and then I'm topping it up with my oil control cream by Salima Skincare also. We have beautifully prepped skin now so I'm going to go right into the makeup. I'm going for a very natural brow for this look using this pencil by NYX. I've carved my eyebrows as always, the matte studio finish concealer. I'm going in and priming my eyelids with the NYX eyeshadow primer. And then I'm going to set my eyelids and the concealer underneath my brow. I'm picking up my Morphe palette, I will have the name of this palette below. And I'm using this gorgeous mauve colour in my crease. It's a very natural colour, almost not there, but I just want to use it as a transition colour. And then I'm going in with a matte white eyeshadow from the same palette in my inner corners. And blending it out slightly. I'm picking up my rose gold palette by Illamasqua, which is my absolute favourite. And I'm taking this khaki kind of coloured brown colour and I'm blending it in. Next I'm picking up this silverish colour from the same palette and putting it in the inner half of my eyelid. Using this felt up liner by Lamasco to make a very simple, thin and not very neat wing. Next, I'm going in with the matte black shade from the same palette and blending out that eyeliner to achieve a very soft, blended eye look. Next, I'm picking up this, these Eyelaw lashes. These are like three quarter lashes and they're so fluttery and natural and amazing. I'll put the name of it below. Such a cute pair of lashes and you can use it more than once. I'm using this head by the Braun Face 851 also and it is a sponge which you can use for your foundation. So I'm just applying some of that foundation on and then I'm going downwards with the sponge. It kind of vibrates which kind of blends the foundation in really naturally which is the look that I'm going for. Don't 
don't really want anything with heavy coverage and this is a very light to medium coverage foundation with a beautiful luminous glow. Next I'm using this cream contour kit by Sleek and I'm using a very light, almost my skin tone shade because again I'm going for a very clean and natural contoured look, nothing too dramatic. And I'm using a beauty blender to blend that out. And I'm just going under my eyes, on my nose, forehead and chin. Also blending with the beauty blender. Just for right underneath my eyes, I'm using the NYX HD Concealer, which is my favourite. And then I'm setting all of these areas with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Next I'm using this Bobbi Brown bronzer to go over the contoured areas. And then I'm using the Laura Mercier bright under eye brightening powder just under my eyes and on the sides of my nose to give the illusion of a smaller nose. Next, obviously we're going for that full on glow and I'm using my all time favorite highlighter Going in a little bit more and feathering my brows and then I'm setting my face with the matte setting spray. Doing some last finishing touches with a little bit of brown shadow under my bottom lash line. And then for lips I'm keeping it very simple with the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner all over the lips. You can use lip gloss if you like but I am just going in with a little bit of lip balm because I like to keep my lips nice and moisturised during the day. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out the Born Face 851. As I said, an amazing gift for Aid. If you have to get someone a last minute Aid gift and they're obsessed with keeping their skin in top shape, make sure you go and check it out. If there's any other details you need, whether it's makeup details or skincare details, it will all be in the description box. Make sure you follow me on all my social media and subscribe if you haven't already and like this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.